All right, welcome back to Wise Car Mod. So let's talk about the board that actually makes this thing faster. I know you guys have seen me do videos, but I didn't really go into a lot of details on how to put one together and also all the little pieces about them, how it works. So this is called an L298 board, L298N board, basically. They're typically used with Arduinos to you know, have the signal sent in and then it kicks out, you know, to drive a motor on this right side and the left side. So what comes in is 12 volts. That's your uh, positive and then negative. And then if you've got this little piece in here, this allows it to go up to this little blackboard here and you can actually get five volts DC out of it which means you could run an Arduino, you could run LED lights, you could run a bunch of other things that run at five volts. So if you take this jumper out, you can actually go even higher than 12 volts because basically above 12 volts, you can't use this thing, it'll burn it out. So you can go 24 volts or what have you. Now, the thing to keep in mind is, I know people have asked, oh, can I just keep getting bigger and bigger batteries? Well, these boards only put out two amps on each side. So yeah, we can put in a seven volt, probably even an 11 volt LiPo battery, but we're only gonna get two amps on either side. So you could go to seven, nine or 11 volts. And every time you increase the voltage, you're gonna get a little bit more power to the motors, but you're not gonna get an insane amount out of one of these, not like one of the hobby grade RCs that can go 40 to 100 miles an hour. But it's certainly gonna be fast enough to, you know, get this little wise car around. And all right, so we talked about the voltage coming in. This is where you hook up your ground. So ground going to whatever device you have connected to this and also the battery source. I'm using, typically, if you get it from me, I'm hooking up a LiPo battery right here and then for these, these little pins, this is where the signal's coming in from our uh, wise car. So on mine, it's a negative, positive, negative, positive. That's how it's coming from the, the wise car board if we hook up the, the wiring, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then out of here, this drives motor one, this drives motor two. And that's really all of the, the details you can get around these boards. And I'll show you a little more up close because you can even see where it shows the little five volt logo. You've got the ground. And if you were to look really closely in there, you can see it says 12. And then this basically at the end, this is where you just unscrew and tighten in whatever wires you want to hook up on either side. And obviously this is going to be where, you know, it, does all the conversions for the power and converts it out so to go out here. That's why there's a giant heat sink on it to keep this thing from overheating. So they're not that hard to deal with. There's definitely plenty of videos I found out on YouTube of how these things work. So what I'll do is um, we'll jump in. I'll show you a, just a demo of how I put one of these together real quick because I think I talked about it in the very first video but I didn't show you exactly how I put it together. And I didn't go into detail about all these pinouts and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and put one together. All right guys, so let's talk about the board. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and give you a peek behind the process of putting it together because I've got orders it looks like from Brian, Eric, and Tim. So you guys, your video is gonna be produced, you know, using these boards. And I actually have just five left, so I need to order some more. But basically, the price point I put on my website to build these things is pretty much what it cost me the first time I went through to buy all the pieces myself. I probably even spent a little bit more than that because I had to buy bundles of wires that I didn't really need. So after I built the second one, I went ahead and just started buying them in bulk because I figured there was other people out there that wanted to be able to modify their wise car like me. And since I already had them 
and I live right next to a post office, why not just start putting them together for you guys and getting them in the mail? So, we actually have five. Let's go ahead and cut these open. So when you order from Amazon or eBay, they're gonna come in like a little plastic wrap. So we'll start with just the three today. So basically what we need obviously is the wires that connect out on either side. They go out to the um, board, I'm sorry, to the motors. And then the wires coming in, they come from the wise car board into the actual um, board here. Your power is going to come in on this side. This middle one is your ground. And like I said, for anybody who is out there and they want to do something different, like run, I don't know, a 5 volt laser pointer or a 5 volt Arduino, you basically can take the ground in the middle and then 5 volt exactly is what's going to come out this other side. So currently, I think I've only done one thing with it where I hooked up a laser pointer, but I ended up taking it back down. Or you can get something like a, a five volt spotlight or just something that you can run off of this board since you're already gonna be using it to power your, your motor. The uh, like the seven volt battery pack is gonna be more than enough to run this board and something else. And by default, I'm sending you guys plug adapters. Let me take a look, the JST these um, power adapters they're going to work with any 7.4 volt lipo battery and what i was doing originally is i only needed the i guess the male end and i wasn't using this i'm sorry i was using the female end of this to plug in and i'm sending it to you guys basically like that but since it came with a male and a female end what i was doing originally was plugging this in here and then I would cut and solder the other wires. What I ended up finding is some actual wires that have the female end on both sides. So I could plug it in the board and plug it, the other side's gonna plug into your wise car. Then that saved me a lot of time on having to cut and solder wires. So just for example, if I'm going ahead to set these up now, it's taking me a lot less time. I'm not having to cut and solder wires anymore. So I can get these together pretty quickly. These wires are a little more expensive, but since I'm buying them in bulk for you guys, it's, it's probably better this way. I don't mind getting them and I will put them together and get them in the mail to you guys. See, that one's already done. And after I've done it enough times, I know, I know that the black goes on the left, the right goes on the, red goes on the right. And I've already done a little bit of loosening up the screws here. And I'll make sure I put the link in the description to all of these if you want to go ahead and order, you know, a one or two pack so that you can do it yourself instead of ordering. And also let me know guys, I, I mean, I set up a PayPal link on my website. It was just the website that I already had, but I wasn't using until now. Um, if you want me to put, I don't know, Venmo or some other payment option on there, I can do that, but I've sold quite a few of these. So I figure for the most part, it's working for you guys. All right, so that covers these. What we need next is, let's go ahead and do the power adapter. Need one for each of these. And I did look into getting batteries, but honestly, the cost of shipping a battery and the time it's, it's definitely more cost of effective to get your own battery off of Amazon or eBay. Especially when you order apparently a lithium battery, they can only be shipped via ground. So it also takes a lot longer. So Amazon will get it to you pretty quickly from whatever the closest location that has it. All right, I 
again, this is pretty simple. If you're looking at the board, see the ground, the G and D there in the middle, and then there's a plus 12 volt on the other side. You can run more than 12 volts, but you have to remove the jumper, like I was saying earlier. And then you won't be able to run a five volt item off of the additional ports here. And I'm going ahead and attaching the wiring. I know when I installed mine, I had to un unscrew it, run the wire up through the little hole in the bottom. But depending on how you hook it up, maybe you won't have to undo it. But you can see in my first video how I ended up hooking it up. But to make sure that you guys know where it goes, I'm going to send it to you already connected. All right, there's that one. Let's go ahead and do the wire on this one since we've got it. gonna plug this one in off camera it's a little easier then we'll jump back and we'll do the two motor connectors all right there's that one And then um, what I could do is you need a ground wire that runs from here to the wise car. Because when you hook up a separate power source for this board to work, it has to have a ground wire connected. What I'm going to do is I've got the soldering iron over here. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this ground wire and we're going to just solder it on. That way, if you get it from me, it's already done. You don't have to worry about it. And you can see, you know, if you had the wiring yourself and you're only doing one of these, it really wouldn't take that long. We're like eight minutes in, we're gonna be pretty close to done with three of these. Right. Now we need this. These are our other side. This is what's gonna um, hook up to basically accept the plugs from the, the original ones that get plugged into the motors. They're gonna be the ones that get plugged into the sides. And I need two for each. Three, four, five. Uh oh, we need more. Looks like I'm going to have to place an Amazon order to make. There we go, there's six. Great. All right, and like I said, I've done these enough times that I know that the, the direction is black on the bottom over here, red on top, and then it's the opposite on the other side. So on the other side, the black will be on the top and red on the bottom.
And make sure, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. It helps me out. We've got over a thousand subscribers already just from doing these. So there's clearly a lot of people that are interested in seeing, you know, modifications and me try to tear these things up. And I can always do more videos showing more of this process if it helps you guys. I know a lot of people are doing these with their kids. I know my kids are super excited to see what we're able to do with it. And I think on some of the other videos, I'll have them a little more involved on making some changes in the upgrade process. Because I've got plenty of ideas. We've just got to get a chance to go ahead and try them out. So far, everything we've done has worked out pretty well. All right, so one of you three that ordered your wise board, it is done and ready. Um, I will go ahead and show you. So if you order them, I now have these green mailers. You're gonna get it in that mailer. And then again, make sure you go back to uh, gormansolution.com. I've got the original video link there that goes through the install process. And then we will um, continue doing more mods to our cars. So I will do the rest of these off camera and then we'll come back and we'll just show the finished product. All right, so I just got done soldering the last of the wires on the back. So now we've got five boards done. And again, these are the L298N boards. Normally they're used with Arduinos, but Essentially, here's what we're doing. So, plug your battery in, right there. There's a little LED that will light up. And what's happening with the wise car is when you hit forward or reverse, it tells both of these motors to go forward or reverse. What we're doing is it goes in and tells the board to run it. And instead, it goes to this board and it says, okay, well, we'll run it but we're gonna run it at whatever voltage you have plugged in. So in most cases, we're using like a 7.4 7 volt LiPo. Instead of it getting five volts and like one amp, so you're only getting like, you know, two and a half watts of power to each motor, we're sending seven volts and two amps to each motor. So we're essentially sending 14 watts to each motor instead of, potentially only five watts going to each motor. So you're you're nearly tripling the power that is going into your, um, your motors here. And that's why it works so well, because we're not really modifying anything on the wise car itself. We're taking the five volt signals that would be going to the motor and instead running them in here to just trigger this board to work. And that's really it guys. So I will go ahead and drop these in the mail and then we'll get back to doing some mods.